Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going through, in my opinion, my most unique eyeshadow palettes. These are the palettes that I have in my collection that I think are the most unique. That is dependent on the color story and just the vibes they have going on. I will also be ranking them so you guys can know what my favorite is and what my least favorite is. So if you want to see me talk about these beautiful palettes, just keep watching. So we have 10 palettes in total. So basically this is going to be my top 10 unique eyeshadow palettes. So at the bottom of the list at number 10, we have Millennial Pinks by Melt Cosmetics. This is a stunning palette. And honestly, the only reason why it is at number 10 is just because out of all of the other eyeshadow palettes. I would say this is probably one of the least unique ones, but I still count it as unique because it's a unique color story. You have these gorgeous pinks, but then you also have like this silver and gray and like a really, really dark gray. And I just love this color story. The look that I did with this palette when I first got it, I loved. I did like a look with the pinks and the grays and I just personally think that this is a unique color story that I haven't really seen put together before so I do really like this one. The next palette we have at number nine is Colourpop Good Sport palette. I don't even know if they make this anymore but this used to be one of my favorite Colourpop palettes. It's like not the best anymore like the formula isn't amazing but I do really love the color story and I think it's relatively unique. Again I don't think it's like revolutionary or anything but I love the mix of purples and yellows and like a dark burgundy and like a random green just out of nowhere and then like a dark like gray. I just really <laughs> like how this color story is a little bit different compared to other palettes that Colourpop has released before. At number eight, we have the At Forest Sight Raw Beauty Christie X Colourpop palette. Now, if you're new here, I am in love with this palette. This was one of my favorite palettes of 2020. The only reason why, again, it's lower on this list is simply because it's not the most unique out of all these color stories. This is a beautiful jewel tone palette, but you also have beautiful, like, natural shades. So while I do think that this is unique, and it's most definitely unique color story-wise in my collection, like, I just love these colors put together. I think it's a gorgeous combination. So that is why I would consider this a unique palette, <laughs> palette and I would highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. The formula is amazing, and I just I just love this color story and I love how you have like greens and blues but you also have the other colors so you can do so many different diverse looks with it and it's honestly just one of my favorite Colourpop palettes. Let me know down below if you'd like to see my overall favorite Colourpop eyeshadow palettes video soon because I did plan on filming it but if you guys want to see it soon let me know and I'll probably get it filmed tomorrow. And number seven we have the Colourpop Disney Villains Misunderstood palette. Now this is a palette that I simply keep in my collection because it's Disney Villains. I'm not the biggest fan of this palette because it is mostly shimmers. That being said I think that is what makes this a unique palette. This color story is so unique like all these colors put together and while yes it is shimmers I could definitely see this as being like a companion palette for so many other different matte palettes which is why I do keep a hold of it plus I mean these shades are gorgeous and I do plan on doing looks with this this is just a unique palette like you have some beautiful like green tones you've uh, like blues you have reds you have like bronzes. You got so many different things in this palette and I personally do really like that. Again, I prefer mattes to shimmers, but I think this is a nice companion palette. At number six, we have the Makeup Obsession LA Dreams palette. This palette's stunning, first off, but what I think is unique is the combination of pinks with like greens and like teal shades. I just think that is such a unique combination that I don't see in a lot of palettes that brands come out with. It's very rare for me to see a palette that has greens and pinks together that are meant to work together and this palette performs beautifully. Makeup Obsession is very hit or miss for me but this palette is a hit. It is a stunning palette and I just love the unique combination of pinks and they're not like your typical pinks. Like they're more so magenta-y pinks and I'm so down for that. At number five we have the ABH Norvina Collection Mini Volume 3 Eyeshadow Palette. I think that this color story is just so unique. Like you have 
these gorgeous red tones but then you have blues and then you have pinks like I think that is just a stunning combination mixed with this pressed glitter now if you're new here I am not the biggest fan of pressed glitters but this pressed glitter is so fine and easily controlled that like I'll use it on my inner corner a little bit away from my eyeball just to be safe but it is stunning and then this shimmery blue mixed with all these other shades i absolutely adore using this to do like pink and blue ombre looks i just think it's so stunning and such a unique color concept for a mini palette at number four we have the head in the clouds palette by made by mitchell this palette is stunning this is definitely a bright eyeshadow palette but it's not your typical rainbow palette like it has some unique color options in this where i haven't seen any other brand do this type of color combination together of course individually i've seen brands do these shades numerous times but having them put in a palette together is just almost revolutionary because you can do so many looks with just this palette alone and what i like personally is that there are so many more mattes than shimmers and most of the shimmers are unique as well they have something to them which makes this palette even more unique in my eyes i'm just absolutely in love with this palette i adore it and i really am excited to see what else made by mitchell makes i did have issues with their customer service but besides that the formula is great and i just love how unique this color story is like you have pinks you have blues you have burgundies you have browns you have purples like you got oranges it's just overall a beautiful unique palette and a nice take on like a rainbow palette we are now down to the top three unique palettes which as you guys can see are so much more unique than the other ones so let's get into it leave a comment down below of which you think is my number one at number three we have the unicorn cosmetics wicked palette now this palette is unique as can be like look at that color story i have never seen a color story like this before in an eyeshadow palette it is so stunning like you have a nice like bone color but then you also have you have blues you have grays you have greens you have this beautiful mustardy yellow you have shimmers you have mattes you have greens you have a black to deepen up shades like you have so many color options in this palette and it's so unique the look at these eyeshadows there's so much unique color possibilities with this palette that is what pulled me in and i cannot wait to see what other eyeshadow palettes you new unicorn cosmetics comes out with this was another one of my favorite palettes of 2020 and that is why it has the number three spot because it is one of the most unique eyeshadow palettes that i've ever seen and number two we have the ouija palette from killer queens cosmetics I bought this with my own money, but I do have a discount count code. It is Tasha16, and that'll save you some money on your order. It is an affiliate code, so feel free not to use it if you don't feel comfortable. I do make a small commission, but if you do feel comfortable, then, you know, save yourself some money. But this palette is so unique. This is with flash, but I'm going to turn flash off in a sec so you can see the real color. Like, this palette is so stunning and so unique. You have this be beautiful shade called, called Magic, Mine Came Broken. But, like, it's just this really, really pretty blue with a black base. I absolutely adore it. And then I love all the mattes. I love that you have, like, more greeny shades. But then you also have a black, you have a white, you have a gray. You have this beautiful, unique purple. This bluey gray i have never seen any color like it it is so unique when i did a look with this i was pleasantly surprised i also love the shade psyche because it is a darker like burgundy brownie red personally i would have rather had energy been a like matte shade like some sort of other matte shade but it is a stunning yellow nonetheless and then you have the shade Poltergeist, which is, again, a very dark blue. I just think this color story is so unique and so, so pretty. And sitting at number one, we have Butte Bean Extra Cosmetics. It's freaking bad's eyeshadow palette. This palette is my holy grail palette. I love it so much. This color story is so unique. Hi, Simon. 
Have you come to join us today? Do not step on this palette. This is the one palette where I would be very upset if you stepped on. Anyway, what I was saying before my cat interrupted me is that this palette is everything to me. I love this palette so much. It's just such a stunning and unique color story. I've done numerous videos on this palette. This just has beautiful shades. You have four mattes and the rest are beautiful metallic shimmery shades. The formula is insane in this palette. It's honestly so good. I love each and every shade in this palette, not gonna lie, and they're all very, very good. I'll include my swatches so you can see what all the shades look like. But these eyeshadows are so unique and this co color combination with this color story is so unique. You can do so many different looks and this palette alone is just my favorite ever. And I think that this is the most unique palette I own and I'm definitely buying a backup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, comment down below any videos like see me too. Go follow my Instagram and TikTok, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.